So Marine Le Pen, will she make it versus Macron? That's what the video will be about. So France, pay attention, and I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, I don't know. The more I learned about Marine Le Pen, it just seems like she's got some daddy issues. So um, I'll tell you a little bit I know about her, and then we'll jump right into the cards. So 1968, Marion Anne Perrine Le Pen was born on the 5th of August, so she's a Leo, and the youngest of three daughters of Jean-Louis Marie Le Pen, who was a French, very far-right politician who was president of the National Front, which is, of course, a very far-right political party. And he was president from 1972 to 2011. And then he was honorary president, I don't know what that means, from 2011 to 2015. And uh, Marine was raised Roman Catholic. Now, in 1984, when Marine was 16, her mother left the family, and she says it was the most awful, cruel, crushing of pains of the heart. Her mother did not love her. In 1987, her parents divorced. Now, in 1991, she studied law for a Master of Laws, and 1992, a Master of Advanced Studies in Criminal Law. 1992 to 1998, she registered at uh, the Paris Bar Association and worked as a lawyer for six years, often as a public defender. 1995, she married a business executive who worked for the National Front, which after 2018 is known as the National Rally, but we'll be referring to her involvement before then, so we'll call it National Front. And uh, of course, that's a very far-right political party, and they have three children she has with that fellow. 1998, she joined the legal department of the National Front. 2000, they divorced. 2002, she married the former National Secretary of the National Front. 2006, they divorced. And then 20, 2009 through 20. 2019, she was in a relationship with the National Front General Secretary, who was later the National Front Vice President. I think she needs to shop somewhere else for her lovers. Um, can you say daddy issues? Now, and on energy, she advocates energy independence, but with emphasis on nuclear and hydroelectric power. She is strongly opposed to wind power and proposes a moratorium on new wind energy development on sea and land, plus dismantling of all current wind turbines. She favors shielding France's domestic industries from foreign competition by taxing imports as an alternative to free trade. Uh, she supports economic nationalism, relentless identification with only France's own nation, and support for its, its interests alone, even especially or harmfully to the exclusion or detriment of the interest of other nations, plus separation of investment and retail banking, and is opposed to privatization of public services and uh, social security. Now, she is opposed to globalization and opposes European Union supranationalism, and that's the transcending of national boundaries, authority, or interests, the very uh, networking of domestic administrations across borders, and federalism, or any mode of compounding governments like combining a general government with a regional government in a single political system, uh, dividing powers between the two favoring instead a loosely confederate Europe of the nations. She called for France to leave the Eurozone and for a referendum on, referendum on France leaving the European Union. Then in 2019, she no longer advocated France leaving the EU nor Euro currency. She does oppose the Treaty of Lisbon, which had updated regulations for the Euro European Union, established a more centralized leadership in foreign policy and, streamlined, and a streamlined process for new policies. And, uh, uh, she opposes EU membership for Turkey and Ukraine. She pledged to take France out of NATO and the U.S. sphere of influence. She proposes replacement of the World Trade Organization and abolition of the International Monetary Fund. She encourages closer ties with the United Arab Emirates and Egypt, which she says fight fundamentalism. And um, she supports a privileged partnership with Russia 
and believes Ukraine had been dominated by the United States. She is a strongly critic. She is strongly critical of NATO policy and Eastern European anti-Russian sentiment and of threatened economic sanctions. Now, in 2022, in response to the invasion of Ukraine, she did criticize Russia's action. She advocated welcoming Ukrainian refugees, uh, but does has also stated that if elected, she would remove France from NATO's integrated military command. Okay, so this is a question about Marine Le Pen, and Brenda Smith, thank you for asking, has asked, um, Marine Le Pen, is it going to be her or is it going to be Macron? Is it going to be Macron or Marine Le Pen? So let's get into that. So this viewer feels like it'll be down to the two of them and wants to know if it will be her or him. Okay, so let's get these cards shuffled up. Now these cards can be a little cryptic, so we'll see how this goes. And like I say, this week I've been a little um, foggy on uh, with my memory. So I may use some uh, cheat sheets to get me through this if I need to. And I hope you'll just understand I'm not perfect. Are you perfect? Probably not. Maybe one or two of you. But um, so Brenda Smith wants to know, will it be Macron or Penn? Macron or Penn? Macron or Penn? Let's have a moment of meditation. Okay, will it be Macron or Penn? Macron or the power of the pen? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Macron or Penn? Let's see how this comes out. Signifier card for this read, and whether it will be um, Macron or Penn. Okay, so we've got an Ace of Swords. Swords is truth, justice, rules, and law. Uh, and this is a great big offer of truth, justice, rules, law. Who do we think that sits with, Macron or Penn? The challenge to that is this Queen of uh, Wands. This is Marine Le Pen. So I think this is what we, we want, but truth, justice, rules, and law is being challenged by Marine Le Pen, this queen of actions. The base of this reading, two, four, six, eight, nine of pentacles. And the nine of pentacles is uh, typically in the right awake deck, you'll see uh, a woman beautifully dressed, lush with value all around her. She's obviously rich. And um, so this is what's in the base of this reading. And so again, just because that typically uh, in the typical deck describes a woman, it makes me think that all of this value is 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 for Marine Le Pen. The past of this reading then is uh, wands and these are the four of wands and the four of wands are short-term celebrations. That's in the past, short-term celebrations. So it makes me think of the, the several times that she's run for president and felt, you know, that but it never played out in the long run. And the sky of this reading is, again, um, are those swords or are those wands? I want to say these are wands. I want to flip through this deck for just a minute to remind myself what swords look like. Oh, swords look like that. Okay, let's make sure. Swords, swords, let's find some more swords. And don't worry, I'm not cheating. I'm just looking for reference through this deck to see what swords look like, because I don't want to call wands swords when they should be wands. Wands, swords. Okay, swords are going to be indicated by a sword actually on the page. Okay, so I'm going to mix these up a bit so you don't feel like I've done something bad here. And everything that happens when you're in a tarot reading, I feel happens for a reason. It's meant to come out that way. So in the sky of this thing, five, six, seven, eight, nine of uh, wands, Now I've forgotten what the nine of wands is. Okay, nine of wands is, uh, oh yeah. So nine of wands is really 
feeling as if you've been put through the ringer on a thing. If you've really had a hard fight, and that's what's up in the sky of this thing, okay? A hard fight. So, and then the likely outcome of the first part of this then <clears throat> is the fool, a new journey. Wow. So I wonder if this is telling me that she might be the one that starts on that new journey. Well, let's get four more cards and see where we end up. So Marine Le Pen or Macron. Marine Le Pen or Macron. Marine Le Pen or Macron. Okay, the signifier of that question is the hermit. Okay, the hermit is telling us to take our time before we make another step forward. Shine a light on the issue. Be very contemplative, considerate, uh, think through what you're going to do next. So that's the signifier card of this question, is whether it will be Macron or Penn. Hmm. Um, the environment that that's in is this Two of Pentacles, finding a way to balance that worth. Pentacles are worth, and the Two of Pentacles is, in fact, finding a balance between that, those two. That's interesting. The hopes and the fears for this, with this Three of Wands, are uh, long-term plans. Hmm. Long-term plans, hopes and the fears, long-term plans. And then the final outcome for this Macron or Penn is this king of uh, coins. I'm going to say this is Macron. Uh, they recognize his value, and he's the one who will come out in the end. But I think it's going to be a close race. So let's go through the whole thing again. <clears throat> is it going to be Macron or Penn? We start out with this great big sword of uh, value, okay? Uh, truth, justice, rules, and law is what's up for grabs here. And what's it being challenged by? It's being challenged by Marine Le Pen, who's a queen of actions. And it's underpinned then with this Nine of Pentacles, which I think is still Marine Le Pen, showing her value, a lot of value uh, for her. And then in the past of this thing, with this Four of uh, Wands, I want to say Swords, but it's not. It's Four of Wands is um, short-term celebrations on to something larger. So they could be that she, she you know, she um, has had these celebrations, these short-term victories in the past when she's run for president but lost it, you know, eventually lost. Or it could be that she comes into some sort of short-term celebration, some sort of close race before it's uh, all said and done. And the sky of this, with this five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine of wands, is really being in battle. So I think it's going to be a hard fight for her. And then uh, this is a new journey, which may not mean that it's a new journey of the presidency, but some other journey, not the presidency. And the uh, hopes and the fears, is this hermit really looking at anything hard before you make a decision? And I think it's what the government has to do, or what the citizens have to do. And they're in the environment of weighing that value. Is it Macron or, or Penn? And then uh, the hopes and the fears was long-term plans. Who's got the best long-term plans for the country? And the outcome, finally, is the king of value, king of coins, that's Macron. I think it's going to be Macron, it's going to be a fight, and probably it's going to be close. As always, I can never imagine how the cards would have come out, and um, so let me know what uh, your take is on all of that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So these are the Tarot de Marseille, and uh, these date from around 1760. These are actually uh, Los Caravillo cards. These and a... Um, a numbered edition a set so I don't know um, I'll show you the little uh, guidebook that comes with them so so this is a uh, Tarot de Marseille in the style of 1760 and uh, this uh, this pack is number 1415 out of uh, 2999 uh, sets that were made so I don't know if that'll ever mean anything but the little guidebook that comes with it is kind of cool and it gives you uh, you know some kind of a story in here to uh, to tell you about the cards and and what their background is and and uh, the original blocks they were made from so yeah something interesting to look at um, the cards I love but the problem with these is that if you don't know your tarot I mean you could have a hard time making some divinations you'll see that uh, the uh, court cards and the uh, major arcana most of them are kind of you could figure them out not too without too much trouble but the rest of them can be kind of cryptic so, but this is what, uh, presumably, Tarachi cards for uh, just playing games uh, would look like at that time, the uh, uh, late 18th, 18th century. So, that's where we are with these. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.
You really make a big difference. Thank you.